So hi, hello and welcome, Mike Rope Hunter here and today I would like to talk about a slightly controversial topic, at least in the field of amateur microscopy this topic is sometimes discussed very emotionally in web forums and online forums and the question is, is are China microscopes uh, any good? And if you're not uh, yet so familiar with uh, microscopy, I need to explain this a little bit to you what this debate is. I think it's an interesting debate uh, uh, but I don't uh, myself I'm not getting involved into this uh, because uh, I think uh, yeah there are different opinions and I understand both sides. Okay but I need to explain this first. You have to understand that um, over the last uh, couple of years, um, yeah, more and more relatively low-cost microscopes um, have started to flood the market. Um, and those microscopes, of course, are manufactured uh, in China. I say, of course, because this is uh, the country where many of the products uh, that we are using here uh, are actually manufactured. Um, and uh, those microscopes are manufactured there, then they are exported uh, to other countries and they're rebranded. So this means that uh, yeah, the company that imports it uh, will do a you know, quality check on them, will put their own uh, brand uh, name on it and will sell it then. And this is also one of the reasons why many of those microscopes, even if they're sold by different brands, they look very, very similar, as a matter of fact, even identical. And even if sometimes the microscope body looks different, if you look at the objectives of the microscope, often they are the same. Or there are other parts that are quite the same. Okay, um, So if you just look a little bit more carefully, you're going to realize that many of the microscopes that you can find on Amazon and all on online shops are actually more similar than you might expect. Even at the first glance, it might look different, but look at the details. Ah they're using the same parts. okay, And uh, this is um, often the case where uh, the microscopes are all manufactured, or many of them manufactured in China, um, to relatively low cost. And when I say relatively low cost, then I'm talking about a maximum price of a few hundred dollars or euros. So if you are buy yourself a microscope, let's say of two, three hundred, four hundred uh, euros or dollars, chances are pretty good that uh, it was manufactured in China and then rebranded um, and with a brand name on it and then you yeah, buy it. And you can and use it then of course and uh, you think that it is actually a brand uh, was manufactured somewhere else but actually no it's uh, from China okay even if the the brand name is actually a local um, a local brand so theoretically, I mean, I'm not doing this, I'm not in this business, but theoretically what I could do is, is I could uh, do the same thing. I could uh, go to a Chinese uh, manufacturer and uh, request uh, that they put uh, my brand on it. I don't know, Micro Hunter, because that's the name of my YouTube channel. And then uh, basically I can uh, import it and sell it over Amazon. OK, um, pretty much anyone could do that. Right. Um, I do a basic quality check, of course, to make sure uh, that my customers are happy because I do not want to damage my brand. And uh, yeah, it's relatively easy to do that. I'm not going to do this. I have no intentions to do that. But theoretically, that would be possible. Um, and uh, those China microscopes um, have become quite popular in the last uh, couple of years. Um, and I consider them, most of them, uh, pretty good for their money. OK, um, there are a couple of um, exceptions, um, but uh, generally I consider them pretty good for their money. And uh, this is already the cause uh, for some of the controversy, because what does pretty good mean? Because different people will have different uh, quality expectations and uh, different expectations to the microscope. And uh, so whether a microscope is a good or bad quality does not only depend on the microscope, but also on your own quality expectations. And the controversy in the field of amateur microscopy even goes that far that some people are saying, well, it's actually much better to for you to buy a brand microscope. And when they say that, when they say a brand microscope, then they're referring to the big traditional brands like Nikon, Zeiss, Olympus and Leica, the traditional microscope manufacturer. I always like to call them the big four. Yeah. It's better, they say, to buy a microscope, a used microscope of the big four, um, because for the same price amount of money, you will get more value, whatever value means. Okay. I understand that different people have different uh, quality considerations. Yeah? And, yeah. So, and that is basically the, the one view. Okay, buy yourself a brand microscope even if it is used. And the other um, view is, is don't do that because uh, when you're buying used microscopes, you're not experienced enough yet and you don't know what you're buying and so on. Um, it's better if you buy yourself a, a new China microscope, so to say. Yeah? Um, so this is kind of the controversy here. 
Um, and uh, um, I would like to simply tell you what my view on this issue is. And my view is, is the following, um, that uh, it depends very much on your budget. Uh, for example, I'm getting uh, an emails, uh, a few emails even a week, uh, where they're asking me which, micro which microscope should I buy. Okay, um, And uh, now basically they expect me to do a recommendation. And uh, what I have therefore done is, is I've said, okay, if you don't know much about microscopes, if you're interested in, in simply exploring the environment and starting microscopy as a hobby, I'm generally recommending those uh, China microscopes. Okay, I mean, they have a, yeah, a brand name on it, of course, uh, but it's not from this big uh, for traditional manufacturers. So basically the people will end up spending a few hundred euros, a few hundred dollars, 300, 400 euros, okay? Um, they have a microscope and generally the feedback was they're quite happy with the microscope and they, they have a new hobby and, and life's great, okay? Um, however, I also get some other emails where they say, well, my budget is 2,000 euros, $2,000, yeah? Um, because I'll need a microscope to do specific observations for this or that, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, even sometimes in the, they want to do some research um, and uh, they, they have a certain budget and they don't know much about microscopes and uh, what should they buy. And in this case, when they are, have already a budget of a few thousand euros or dollars, I tell them, well, then of course you do not want to buy yourself a microscope over Amazon, uh, but you need, a, if you already spend so much money, a more detailed, um, yeah, you need to talk to someone, right, who can give you basic recommendations. And then I always refer them back to one of those big four microscope manufacturers. I say, look for an office uh, um, yeah, in your area of one of those four big microscope manufacturers, they are producing microscopes for research for universities. Um, you have a lot of support and then you can talk to someone on the phone and this person can give you a special offer and they will put the microscope together based on your needs. And this is one of the big differences between those different types of models. Those the big traditional manufacturers, the microscope does not come finished out of the box, but you have to actually tell them what you want. Okay, which objectives do you want? Okay, um, all sorts of things. Do you need any specific condensers? Um, there are different, yeah. They, they even have more possibilities to choose from and more possibilities to upgrade. But of course, it is significantly higher price because the target group are not, not necessarily only amateurs um, who like microscopy and nature observation, but also research and the medical research and, 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 and so on. Yeah? And this already means it's a different target group and the cost is already different, therefore. But you get a lot of support. Yeah? Um, and those uh, China microscopes, and I tell, have to tell you, I don't like this term. <laughs> okay, I really don't, but that's simply the term that's used in the community. And those lower cost microscopes, uh, they basically often become ready made out of the box um, and there is not so many there are not so many possibilities to upgrade so um, yeah so this is basically the the basic difference and if you want to upgrade it um, then you want to have an exchange you want to exchange your objectives you want to get I don't know 60x objective like I've been recommending or a 20 times objective like I've been recommending well then it can be a little bit difficult to get those micro, uh, those objectives and you have to kind of maybe go to AliExpress and, and try to buy it directly from China and surprise surprise in many cases you're going to find exactly the same objectives um, sold over AliExpress, which is a Chinese uh, you know, uh, comp uh, yeah, retail company. Okay, um, so uh, this is basically a difference. The upgradability is not there, um, not only because the parts are more difficult to, to be obtained, but simply there are no upgradable parts because uh, this is not the target group. Okay, yeah. So sometimes people end up um, tweaking the microscope around on, on their own and try to make their own filters and so on. Yeah? So this is, uh, yeah, it's a, a different, um, yeah, different also approach of, uh, towards uh, buying a microscope as well. Okay, and so this is basically the, the two different, uh, the two different approaches or the two different, uh, yeah, um, uh, views of the whole thing. And uh, of course, this uh, means that uh, some people have very strong opinions about this because some people say, well, they would only buy. Uh, microscope from one of those big traditional brands um, even if it's a used one because they feel you can upgrade it and then you go on a second hand market and you buy those objectives and the, and the new condenser and you try to uh, assemble your own microscope based on your own needs um, but this is not uh, an approach that uh, beginning amateur microscopists necessarily also always want to do because you do need a little bit of experience here and it's also not going to be a lot cheaper either Okay, sometimes those parts uh, in some can be significantly more expensive than if you buy yourself a new China microscope. So now what about the image quality? Because that's also sometimes something that is uh, debated. Is the image quality so much different? Well, 
again here it depends a lot very much on the individual microscope and specifically the optics and if you buy yourself um, a used microscope which is i don't know 30 or 40 years old I've got one of them, for example, and if you buy yourself uh, and you pay um, yeah, a few hundred euros for that, and if you pay your, uh, buy a, a new microscope, a uh, new China microscope, um, chances are pretty good that the image quality is going to be the same uh, because you've got now modern objectives uh, that are maybe not quite as dirty as the used one that you buy. So you see there can be certain uh, characteristics that influence image quality that you might not think of, right? Um, so, um, but um, it's a little bit of, yeah, also a question of taste. I mean, I'll give you an example. I, um, a couple of years ago, I did obtain a... Um, a discarded microscope, an Olympus CHA microscope from the back from the 1980s. Um, totally not usable anymore. Okay, why? Because all of the lubrication um, solidified. It was not possible to turn any knobs and anything. Yeah? It was not use, not to totally not usable. It had to be really cleaned. I did not want to do that uh, because uh, uh, cleaning the, the focusing system is, is an elaborate task. So I called the um, in this case, the Olympus servicing company, certified uh, um, servicing company, and for 200 euros, uh, they completely took apart the microscope, they cleaned it, and everything works like new. Okay, um, and then I bought myself for 300 euros a phase contrast set. Okay, so I have 500 euros. Okay, um, for that uh, price, uh, you can already get a new microscope. Yeah, but you see, uh, it's a different thing a little bit. Uh, yeah, the approach is different, um, and uh, you cannot really compare the different approaches. But for 500 euros of ace contrast, is actually, um, yeah, it's actually cheaper. <laughs> okay, um, but the point that I'm trying to make here is is that a lot is also maybe a, a question of personal preference and a personal taste. And um, I think I don't know if I've already said it in this video. The best microscope is the microscope that you end up using the most okay and, and for this this is one of the reasons why i'm not getting involved in the debate are china microscopes any good or are brand microscopes any good or not good or how are they better or not better um it's also yeah different people have different preferences you know and uh um, generally uh, i'm open for everything and i see it advantages and disadvantages for all things and yeah um, and if I have, if you have specific needs, uh, also specific research needs, and of course this also limits already your choice of microscope right right from the beginning. And the more you know what you want to use the microscope for, um, yeah, the more satisfied you're probably going to be um, at the end with your choice of model. And don't forget one thing: sooner or later you might outgrow your microscope, um, and uh, then you already know what else you want to buy. Okay. Well, I think uh, that's enough for today. Uh, yeah, do leave your comments. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.